and more than a million dollars worth of hand sanitizer purchased by the LAUSD to keep kids safe had to be disposed of because it's expiring. The issue was discovered by our KCAL News investigation. That's right. Investigative reporter David Goldstein is here with the details, and some of the details are mind-boggling. David. They are, and taxpayers are footing the bill for this uh, over $2 million off of the sanitizer. You know, we found the hand sanitizer sat at the district's warehouse for years, locked away until it reached the expiration date. Then the district had to pay more than a million dollars to dispose of it. All this while some teachers were asking parents for sanitizer to keep kids safe. During the COVID years, did you ever uh, donate sanitizer to the school? Absolutely. We had a ton of people who brought sanitizer to their classrooms once we went back to school. While some teachers were relying on parents to donate hand sanitizer, we found plenty of it. Cases and cases of sanitizer purchased by LAUSD for millions of taxpayer dollars just sitting in shipping containers. These pictures provided by sources show the gallon jugs which could have been used in classrooms to keep kids safe going unused. It's really disheartening. Jenna Schwartz is with Parents Supporting Teachers, a public school advocacy group. She says hand sanitizer was on every teacher's wish list. Sure, it always is. Sanitizer, Lysol wipes, everyone's trying so hard to be clean. This idea that there's all the sanitizer that nobody knew was there, it's ridiculous. We found LAUSD paid millions of dollars in taxpayer money to purchase the sanitizer then had to pay more than a million more to properly dispose of it because it's expiring. It's a shocking waste of money, a shocking, shocking waste of money, particularly at a time where this district is really cash strapped. We obtained documents showing that in August and September of 2020, in the height of the pandemic, the district purchased a total of 81,262 cases of hand sanitizer. That's more than 325,000 gallons. The cost to taxpayers, more than $3.2 million. In fact, the district bought so much, it had to rent some of these cargo containers just to store it all. The video from our drone showing them parked behind the LAUSD warehouse in Pico Rivera. The rentals cost taxpayers another 18000 For two years, the sanitizers sat in the containers in the hot sun. Some employees told me they were concerned about the possible dangers because sanitizer is mostly alcohol and flammable. A hazmat situation in downtown L.A. where boxes of hand sanitizer going up in flames. The danger becoming a reality earlier this month when cases of sanitizer not connected to the district caught fire. Employees at the LAUSD warehouse had notified County Fire about what was in these unmarked containers. And the district was hit with a violation for failure to properly label hazardous waste. Afterwards, we did see these danger signs on the containers, but now the clock was running out. As you can see on this label, sanitizer does expire and was now reaching its expiration date. In December, we saw workers moving huge pallets. The district now forced to get rid of millions of dollars of expiring sanitizer. But this isn't something you just pour down the drain or throw in the trash. Sanitizer has to be disposed of properly, and that costs money. This document shows the cost for disposal just under $1.4 million. So in the final analysis, LAUSD bought 325,048 gallons of hand sanitizer at a cost of $3.2 million. But it only used a little more than 200,000 gallons meaning 123,000 gallons were left to expire. That's $1.4 million worth of expired hand sanitizer. And it cost another $1.4 million to dispose of it. That's $2.8 million down the drain. Isn't this a waste of taxpayer money? I don't believe it's a waste of taxpayers' money to make sure we have enough sanitizer. LAUSD procurement officer Mark Monforte says they purchased the sanitizer during the pandemic, not knowing how much would be needed. But why wasn't it all distributed? 
there was more than adequate amount of sanitizers in all their schools. There should not have been, and there probably are no schools right now without sanitizers. But that's sanitizer. not what, I, what I've what i talked to, to parents. Uh, they say it's been on the wish list of teachers to get sanitizer. Why wasn't the sanitizer distributed? We distributed adequate amount of sanitizer for all the schools. In fact, Obviously they, not adequate if teachers had it on the wish as much list as they needed, they got bring in. Wasteful? When I think of what that million dollars could be used towards, when I think what the millions of dollars spent initially could have been used towards, our teachers, our kids, it's actually really frustrating. Now, the district claims they tried to donate the sanitizer toward the end, but found no takers. However, I called around to a few social service agencies. They said they would have gladly accepted sanitizer. They needed, other people needed it, but it just uh, went to waste. Where did the breakdown really occur here? Is it one person? Is it one office? Is it a school? You know, it's, it's hard to say. It is such a big agency. You don't know. The procurement people, as you saw, said, you know, schools we did our told job. us that yeah. they had enough sanitizer. Right. Um, parents say there wasn't enough there. But the bottom line is that so much of it is now has to be disposed of. And useful, actually, to know that it does expire within, what, a couple years? It does expire in about two years. People are questioning that. That's just the date on it. They do say it might not be as effective after a couple of years, and they go by the expiration date. Well, you know, you have some understanding that they did buy a lot of it in August and September of 2020. We didn't have vaccines yet. Right. We were in the that, middle of the pandemic. Sure. A lot of people did that. And, and the department, uh, they defended saying in New York they had the yeah. same situation. A lot of agencies had the same situation. But do something about it yeah. before it expires. Donate it. Do something. Well, and that price tag is a lot for taxpayers to swallow. Exactly. Yeah. David, thank you.